the intensive plasma and medical intelligence for the last four years. This summer, um, I will also a teacher for some um, the summer school from there to day. And um, what I'm going to talk about is uh, making a lesson plan for teaching a lesson. And um, this is so during math we have this thing called Pokemon where it is the word. And basically it's a session where a person can understand more of what is being said in the gospel and the Bible during math. Um, so first of all, I'm going to do um, a lesson of the sort and get all my material ready. So, make sure I have um, the reading down and I make sure I have the sheet and I have the materials and other like materials that I might need on the um, cloud paper or in the chat board. Mm -hmm. um, next, I make sure um, praying is a very integral part of this process. I, I ask for God's guidance and I, I ask the Holy Spirit in order to help me make sure that I am teaching children what is, what is the, um, that I'm not going to be able to do the Bible. Um, I make sure that I have the and so next, I, um, read over the materials quickly, trying to figure out one big major thing that, that, um, was down in the end of the reading. So that the children can use, use, use these readings or the key word symbol in order to remember um, the overall, the whole day or the whole lesson that I prepared. So I read over it pretty quickly, trying to put a few words that the kid is about in the first and second reading and maybe even in the gospel reading. Um, so I do that, and then after that, I, um, I fill out my planning sheet, so I essentially I'm seeing and I know the reading. And I figure out something, something that's applicable to everyday life and the other life application. Um, we're talking about discrimination and class I brought up the question of the alone this morning and anybody is the alone. Um, and the children whether or not um God was discriminating against people who had like the color blue on the fly and things that sort of
things to the extent it's sort of just in the back, um, a real life situation. So it's not all so far away at 48 and things of that sort. And then, so, um, I'm going to start out on focus questions and start out with symbol. And then I, I type out the contention because it's my belief that all kids should participate in that really enjoy. Mm -hmm. And so I need to tell the kids how, um, um, I try to include all the kids in all aspects of the lesson on each. Um, so I have, during my class, I have um, children who cannot be wise, and children who love the panels, and children who are passer riders, or kids who are readers. And so I make sure to have intentions written out, so if um, nobody has anybody to pray for, I look out my intentions. And so that's essentially my preparation. So I make sure I read the readings and I make sure I have the symbols ready. Um, for example, last Sunday, the word T was in, in both the first reading and in the gospel, and it was kind of like T, you see the head of your space. So, on color paper, I have, um, oh, that can be T. So, and I wrote the word state on each of those keys. And so, whenever it sticks out the symbol on the key, they would remember that um, you're seeing the head of the extension space. And also, the gospel reading was about how Jesus makes Peter. Um, he called Peter a rock, and he said, he's the foundation for the church. And so, out of my big backyard, I picked up a big rock, and I wrote the word, I wrote the name Peter, and did it with big magic mountain. There's a huge folder essentially on my table um, with the word the name Peter. So this is my mm -hmm. Actually, I didn't write it on there. I had some volunteers write the word Peter. So I'll just have some things that I can do in the map. So now that I've prepared for everything, um, I get to math about 10 minutes before it starts and it's kind of funny because all the kids probably arrive about 5 minutes before it starts. So I need volunteers to take up, I need two panel bears and I need a person to take up my large sharing. And so I have three kids. I need them um, go up, and they come back in with Father Jim or whoever is going to be the 
And then we're going to share the eight thing we'll do that with the pin on the back and we'll put the left hand on the option. After that, I broke it down and um and then as soon as the liturgy of the word starts for the for the adult, um Father Jim calls me up as it has been and calls all the kids up eight. And then I go up and I go up and um my channel there is that out in front of me and I'm going to the left hearing action. The left hearing very safe and it's God's word. So I have probably about 30 kids, maybe 5 to 11 following me out the door. So then we go out the door and I have all the keys and I unlock the door and kids go in. And then, and then, so I introduced myself and, um, I started out with my focus question and asking why you got the to look at the system and wanted to come to you. Mm-hmm. Or, um, as in the case of the city, but who has, whoever has had parents who walk their kids in a car, so we talk about things that that are pretty real world to them because they understand what I'm talking about. And so, I mean, it's kind of funny because I have like, my kids with that, who tell me stories. And we spend like 10 minutes like, talking about, oh, when my mother lost her keys in the car, I have to like fall through the window. And then, so after I have my focus questions done, um, we begin with our prayer. And, and then, just quickly, I go through um, the first reading and the response for our song. And then, um, the other video is the gospel application and then do the gospel. And even before that, I tell them to remember the two words, the two words of the day of P, and also the two the words rock for Peter. And then, so I have that, and then that finishes the reading so I really quickly. And then I have questions about the reading, so then we do questions about the reading. And then more applications like I always ask like who has brothers and sisters and uh, who fights with the brothers and sisters and talk about like how to improve on that. And to talk about peace and how the peace is heaven, um, the sea in heaven is really your faith and the reason that Jesus made Peter the rock. But because Peter has so much faith in the Jesus is giving to you in heaven. And after that, um, 
I'm doing full time while the gym is giving me comments that I can do that. He's part of the majority of the work is um, taking places that older people are doing. Um, for older people who are in the world. And then so after that, um, we do the shortest tree, which is kind of like a nice and tree that we're in for for the same time of the day. Mm-hmm. And then we do our caregiver table, and then um, our people can volunteer if they want to take the pet, if they want to take the picture of their mother, or they want to take the and then I call my attention to me with um, something like that. Um, so that I was for the next day, during the vacation and so that we spend all the time in the business. So may God help us have more patience with our younger brothers. And so, um, we haven't done that. <coughs> and then after that, um, I have my channel where I love the channel and the lights and all that. Right in time for, um, for the, 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 for